and welcome to People's Dispatch. We're here with Surya Anta from Indonesia, who's here to tell us about his organization and his struggle. So if you could start maybe with the presentation of where you come from, your organization. I come from Jakarta, Indonesia. Uh, I'm a sp spokesperson of the People's Liberation Party uh, and also spoke the spokesperson for Indonesia People Front for West Papua, a solidarity group. Uh, from from Indonesia who support uh, the struggle for independence for West Papua. Okay, so uh, with both of these organizations, kind of what is the goal, what are the objectives of these organizations? Uh, we are uh, organization who fight for social justice, fight for a better life, fight for uh, better situation in democracy and economic, social and culture in Indonesia. And right now, what are the concrete struggles that you're taking on with your party? Uh, we, we also uh, campaigning about uh, the the, against the string, uh, shrinking democracy by the militarisms and uh, undemocratic regulations and also the violations of human rights to the people of Indonesia and people of West Papua. And what is the biggest challenge of being an activist with kind of a revolutionary perspective in Indonesia? Uh, the biggest challenge is that uh, in Indonesia, uh, any kind of leftist think or the freedom of thinking is uh, quite very prohibited. I mean, uh, when you say, when you uh, against government or when you criticize the government or you when you uh, make demonstrations about the social justice uh, government also uh, makes accuse us that us as a communist that communist in Indonesia is prohibited and communist is an atheist but actually uh, a lot of activists who fight for social justice uh, they don't know they don't took apart or don't uh, they don't have ideology of communists they just fight for the social justice and maybe you could talk a little about the struggle in West Papua and what are you doing in the solidarity campaign so we built the free West Papua or Indonesia people from for West Papua in 2016 uh, we uh, rec realized that the West Papuan people is not part of Indonesia it's uh, they they have their own nations that in 1969 uh, there is a, uh, there was a fraud and fake referendum under the militarism so under the Suharto regime in uh, for 32 years so since 1969 until now there has been genocide to the West Papuan people almost 500,000 people were died during 50 years uh, annexation in West Papua. So the, the, the position, the Indonesian government is illegal in, in West Papua. We support uh, not only uh, the freedom of expression in West Papua, but we, we recon recognize them that, that West Papuan people as a, a separate nations. We are recognized as uh, Indonesian nations, recognized by the uh, uh, Netherlands Dutch in 1949, but that that not include West Papua. We annexation, uh, we West Papua territory in uh, 1961, 1962, and then we make a fraud uh, or fake uh, referendum. That's why uh, we think that. For West Papuan people, there is no freedom, there is no peace, there is no democracy without liberations, without freedom from Indonesia. And is this a common perspective amongst Indonesians, or is this...? Uh, not. It's not a common perspective. A common perspective uh, in Indonesian people, it's uh, chauvinist nationalism. Uh, some, of the, some of the social movement and the left uh, took apart uh, to give solidarity to the West Papuan, uh, to fight for their independence, or to uh, respect their struggle for the right for self-determination. Can you talk a little about the neoliberal economic policies in Indonesia right now and the impact on the people? 
The economic neoliberal in Indonesia has been done for 20 years, uh, 22 years. Uh, since uh, Suharto signed agreement uh, to have a debt from the International Monetary Fund. So I think all, all the, uh, all the governments, uh, corporations were profitized and s several, uh, several uh, go uh, good subsidies were cut by the government, such as uh, oil, such as electricity, and health, and etc. So, the constellation in Indonesia is now all the parliamentary party, they are, even though they are different name or different ideology, nationalist or religious, Islamic, they are pro nirubra None of them against nirubra uh, In April, there will be a presidential elections. This is the, the competitions between the right wing versus far right wing. Jokowi is right wing, pro investment, pro neoliberal, pro uh, anything uh, from the packet from the imperialists. Uh, the other ones, Prabowo, uh, he was a uh, former son-in-law of uh, General Suharto, the second president. Actually, even though he said about sovereignty, even though he said about uh, economic problem, actually he is part of the oligarch and he is part of the uh, of the ruling uh, uh, ruling family during Suharto regime, and he is also agree with neoliberalism. So, with the upcoming elections, what is the perspective from progressive organizations from the working class on on these elections? Yeah, we are divided. Uh, some of the labor movements, uh, labor union, uh, the biggest labor union, uh, the leader uh, support Jokowi. The second biggest labor uh, confederations, uh, labor, support Prabowo, which is the metal federations. Uh, but uh, some of the left, uh, individual or yeah, individual, they are support uh, Jokowi, or former activists in 1998 during the overthrow of Suharto, or we can say reformacy, uh, also support Jokowi, but some of them also support Prabowo. So, uh, but in five years ago, in, 2000, in the election 2014, uh, we also divided, but most of the activists, uh, former activists 1998 support Jokowi. But then now, some of them realize Jokowi is going to write and accommodate uh, the idea of a new order, the Suharto uh, policy in in 19 during 32 years. So, but what 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 is uh, our position now? Uh, some uh, most most of the left groups say that we cannot took apart in the elections. We cannot uh, vote for uh, laser of of the evil because these things is getting. Uh, worse and worse. Jokowi is getting to right wing, and the uh, Prabowo is making uh, was made an issue about uh, racism to the Chinese, uh, decent, and to uh, non-Muslims, non-Islam, and issue uh, that that based on the we call it Sara ethnicity, religions, and race. That's a problem of Indonesia. Thank you for talking to People's Dispatch. Thank you very much.